So we are here in New York City. This is where I will be doing my camera project, looking through all the things here that New York has to offer. So we will see what we find. And right here we have the charging bull statue. What does the bull market represent, Andy? The bull market represents basically strength market right here. You got a strong bull, you got a strong market. You know what today's a great day for investing, ladies and gentlemen. We pretty much it's made out of what do you think it's made out of? It's like steel or something? Copper. Copper, solid copper. Metal. I mean this thing is huge. You can't even see like a, it's huge. there's a lot of huge aspects of it. <laughs> so here we are. As huge as this, though. Here we are at um, Wall Street, the Charging Bull statue. That's my sculpture aspect of this. <laughs> so what you see here is the design aspect of this piece of art. Someone had to design. No crap. <laughs> Someone had to design this. So you can see all the lines running through. It's really, really you can really feel the ebbs and flows in this painting. You can see the lines going this way. It really, really feels like the human circulatory system. You can see this is a heart over here. It's going down the bottom there. Right but now. you can see how intriguing and how detailed this map is of every single transit. If you don't pay attention, and then you will get lost. Okay, so now we're in the National Archives of New York City. And we have this beautiful painting right on top of us that depicts the Titanic. And all. So I'm actually on second thought, it's not just the Titanic, that's the Titanic over there. But then you have Washington ship leaving, it's actually different types of ships that, that have gone on different sorts of voyages. Over here you have Amerigo Vespucius, an Italian sailor, and someone that you guys probably know is Christopher Columbus, who's right over there. So we have about all great explorers. During the Great Exploration Age, which took place around the 15th century, we just have all these beautiful pastel paintings. It's a very soft color. They're all that way throughout the building. What would you say, Andy? Uh, I agree. I think it's really cool how all the pictures have the same color palette. It's, uh, it's also really interesting how it depicts a lot of people in the mall. Yeah, and this room is actually pretty huge. And just, it's an empty room, so it really just makes you concentrate on everything on top. Right here you have the glass ceiling. Very beautiful building, I'm glad I'm here. <laughs> All right, so we're here in Central Park, and it's time for the guess what it is part of this project. So, guess what it is. Right here, it wouldn't be New York without some classic graffiti art. He's using spray paint, and then he's using the brush to design it. That is really cool. That's the kind of art they have here in New York City. All right, so we're in the Microsoft store now. Yes, we are. Uh, we've had a long day, so my hair's a little messed up. So I'm sorry for that. But, you have to look at this. So right here, these are all TV screens that make up one big giant picture and it stretches all the way. This has to do with computer generated art. That's about like 30 feet. What kind of what kind of TVs are these, Andy? Uh, OLED TVs. They have a fast refresh rate of 144 hertz per second. So that means there's gonna be 144 images per second. That's really cool. Look how big this is. Now that's art. That's art from the future. 